Hey guys, Will Mason here, back at the Demo Lab for another episode. Today we are checking out the Reverend Club King 290. Uh, this guitar is really, really cool. Um, of course, our Reverends are very, very cool. We'll talk about some of the generic or general features of Reverends and we'll get specific and talk about this axe. So to begin with, we have the pin locking tuners. This makes changing the strings super, super easy and quick. Uh, Reverend goes to a lot of lengths to make sure that they get a pro level tour ready instrument into the hands of real gigging musicians. So pin locking tuners are something that you wouldn't normally see on a guitar at this price point. This guitar has a bolt-on maple neck and it has jumbo frets. It's very comfortable to play. I love the finish on the back of the neck. It's very easy to slide up and down. It is not a high gloss finish that you get stuck on, but it's a semi-gloss kind of a satin finish. It's extremely comfortable. And then uh, we move on down here. We have these two P90 style pickups that sound fantastic. Uh, this guitar can do anything, but to me it kind of says, play some jazz on me. Um, and it also is great for country, kind of rockabilly, um, blues, and, and it does anything like I said, but that's kind of the style that I feel myself being drawn to when I pick it up. It is a semi hollow body guitar, and that is part of the reason that I feel those things that I feel. And it has the Bigsby tremolo, which is very iconic and cool looking and it also you know gives you some options for creating some tremolo sounds um, some familiar features you have is going to be the three-way selector switch goes back and forth between the neck pickup the bridge pickup and then both and then we have the master volume master tone and up here we have Reverend's bass contour knob. Uh, this is a great feature that most Reverends uh, have on them. And what it does is it pulls out some of the low ends, some of the low mids, so it cleans up some of that mud occasionally that you might find on the, especially on the rhythm pickup. And what it leaves behind is a very unique sonic signature. So you can create a whole uh, range of sounds that you wouldn't have access to otherwise. All right, so I'm gonna play some sounds through the clean side of the amp we're using today, which is the Dual Terror from Orange and then we're gonna switch over and get a little bit of dirt on it. We're not gonna go too crazy with this guitar, um, but give you some ideas of the sounds that you can get. So we're gonna start on the clean side, and we're gonna start on the neck pickup with all the volume, tone, and bass rolled all the way up. Give you an idea of what it sounds like there. Play the same thing and roll the bass down so you can hear the difference. So you can tell right away it sucks out a little bit of the volume and it cleans things up and kind of thins it out in a really interesting way. And so you have a whole range. Obviously, I turned it all the way down, but you can blend it in as much as you want or as little as you want. And it just gives you a lot of options, depending on what amp you're playing with, what pedals you're using, without having to go run over to the amp and turn the bass down. If you kick on a fuzz pedal or something, you can kind of blend a little bit of the bass out and clean things up, so it sounds really good. Um, all right, we're gonna move to the middle position, let you hear that. all the way back to the bridge position. So I said I liked jazz on this guitar and then I played nothing related to jazz, but that's quite all right uh, because I'm not really a jazz player anyways. Uh, but one of the cool things I'll play for you on this position is um, just a little finger picking thing that gives you an idea of how kind of country and chicken picking sounds on this instrument. So you definitely have access to that sound as well. All right, we're gonna switch it over, uh, put a little bit of dirt on this thing. 
Nothing too crazy, but just a little bit of overdrive on there. Let you hear what it can do on some of those tones with a little bit of a blues riff. That's a little bit of overdriven sound on the neck pickup. And if we go all the way back to the bridge, get a little bit more bite, a little bit more aggressive treble sound out of the guitar. So it's a really, really fun guitar to play. It looks super cool. If you show up at a gig with this thing, uh, everybody's gonna ask you where you got it. All right, so there you have it. This is the Reverend Club King 290. It is an awesome guitar. Gotta get your hands on one. Uh, we have these in stock right now at Mason Music here in Birmingham, Alabama. Stop by, we'd love to meet you and get this thing in your hands. Um, if you're not in town, if you're not local, but you're interested in purchasing, you can order through our website. If you go to masonmusicstudios.com and click on the shop link, There'll be more information there. Uh, and of course, our YouTube audience, please like, comment, share, let us know what you think about this video. And if there's anything you'd like for us to demo, we would always love to know that so that we can give you what you want. Uh, and of course, subscribe so that you know when the next video comes out, you'll be the first to know. Until then, uh, take care and rock on. Mm -hmm.